Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing in Tarot. This is Christina and today's pick a card is their thoughts and feelings. So you need to have somebody in mind that you want to know what they're thinking. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. Take a deep breath with me. All right, we're picking with Amethyst today. So pile one is Chevron. Pile two, I'm going to call this the Palm Stone. It's, it's kind of a Palm Stone, I guess. It's almost the size of my palm. Not quite, but we're just going to call it the Palm Stone. And uh, this is a piece of raw. You know, it's not polished. It's just like a little jagged tooth. So we're just calling it raw, right? That's pile three. So take a moment, pick the pile you are most drawn to, and uh, we'll see what your person's thinking. Okay, pile one, if you chose Chevron, then this one is your reading. Let's get some cards. King of Cups. The Sun. Nine of Cups. King of Wands three of cups. Wow. I almost couldn't hand pick better cards. This is fantastic. Um, wow. There's deep feelings here. Your person loves you. They are so in love with you. They are so happy just thinking about you. You're a wish come true, or you could be a wish come true for them if you're not with this person. It kind of feels like you're with them because they're just so in love with you. The King of Wands is so passionate about you. The King of Cups is like so caring about you. Three of Cups is a celebration. It's a reason to celebrate, a coming together. Wow. So, if you're not with this person, you should be. <laughs> this person is so in love with you. Uh, you make them happy. Just thinking about you makes them happy. They want to take care of you. They want to love you. They want to cherish you. And they want to worship you, <laughs> in a way. Um, wow. 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 All right. Family sorrow. Success assured with good plans and hard work. This, These two cards are kind of making me feel like you guys aren't together. Hmm. Is, is this an X? Is this... If this is an ex, it kind of feels like a divorce situation uh, where they messed up the family, broke up the family. Kind of feels something like that. And they're like, now they're like, I want to get back. I want to make things right. Now, that's not everybody's story, of course, but... Um, if this person is not, if that's not the story, which I don't think it is for a lot of people, but that came out. So that's, I, I just think that um, you guys could really make a beautiful future together. It, it says success assured with good plans and hard work. So if you guys come together and work together, you guys can really make this a beautiful relationship and a beautiful future. You know, whether you're with them or not yet, I, I just see uh, if you're both on the same page, if you both have feelings for each other, this could really work. Now, for that family sorrow, I mean, that could that could be anything. But uh, yeah, if you want to be with this person, I say go for it. You're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. That 
kind of makes more sense for me if this is an X. Like, trying to get back. Like, keep proving that you are worthy of being taken back. You know, keep, keep doing what you're doing, but, you know, be amazing. Now, if it's not that, then I just think that they're just saying, like, you guys can really come together and make beautiful music together. Like, I, like you could really be a happy family. Whom do you need to forgive? As you release old anger, resentment, you will find that your wishes will come true. I kind of feel like this is an ex. I don't want to feel like it's an ex, but I kind of feel like it's an ex. It doesn't have to be. It really doesn't have to be, though. There is family sorrow here, so maybe somebody has to forgive somebody, but I still, the feelings are still all here. No matter what the situation is that you're in, this person and you could really be amazing together. But you both have to be on the same page. Gratitude. Fill me with gratitude for all you give. May I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. Be grateful. Be grateful for the blessings in your life. Be grateful for the other person that they've touched your life in some way. Even if you don't want to be with them. They're grateful for you. They're grateful for you. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So if there is some sadness here or some hurt, um, you can overcome it. Sorry, I'm yawning. I don't know why. Hmm. Be community. You are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything you touch. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen of abundance. So your person just thinks that you deserve the world. And I kind of feel like they want to be your worker bee. You know, they want to treat you like the queen and they want to, they want to come, you know, work hard for you and for the relationship. Transmuting pain. There's some deep sorrow here. So my original feeling of this is a divorce kind of really makes sense right because they're trying to transmute that pain into something beautiful again um or they're hoping that you do that but like i said it doesn't have to be that situation but somebody well it's your person your person is feeling sad about something Really, I, I kind of feel like a loneliness from them. So I kind of don't think that you're with this person. I mean, you could be. I mean, this is amazing cards up here. I, I, I don't think I could bet, hand pick them better. Um, so it's saying that the potential for happiness is truly great here. But your person is sad. Are they sad without you? Do you come into their life? Did you come into their life when they were overcoming a sadness? I don't know. I mean, they're grateful for you. And uh, they think the world of you. They really do. They... Hmm. Temple of Dreams. 
sacred dreams, prophecies, and dream journey. Well, we know they dream of you because they're so into you. They adore you. So they are dreaming about you. And they could be dreaming about, you know, future possibilities here. I don't know, but if you're asking about this particular person to see how they feel, like, they are they have feelings. Plain and simple, they have feelings. Now, what you do with that, that's up to you, but wow. I, I just... I, I think they're just grateful to know, have known you or to know you. Let's pull some charms. So they feel very protective of you. They want to protect you. It's you can't see it. It's it's my bear. It's my panda with the umbrella. Okay, so they want to protect you. They have a shooting star. So again, you're their wish come true. You're their wish fulfillment. They love you. And they want to explore things with you. They're willing to fight for you, to survive with you, to, to make things, to make life amazing. They want to be, uh, they want security with you. They want to build something solid. They want to have a firm foundation. They, they just adore you. Here's the deer. They adore you. They, they, you're very dear to them. They think you're sweet. They think... I don't know. They just they just want to love you. Wow, Pile One, that's pretty amazing. All right, that's what I got for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All of those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. All right, Pile Two, if you chose that flat palm stone, um. Here's your reading. <laughs> Uh-oh. Three of Swords. Strength card. Death card. Three of Wands. It's eight of Swords. Whew. All right, Pile 2. Looks like you broke their heart, or they broke yours. Uh, their heart's broken. This is their feeling, so... I think they're a little hard... They're hard yeah, they're heartbroken. So this is somebody you either didn't want or they messed up so you let them go. I don't know. They're heartbroken though. And they're trying to find their strength and courage to come forward, I think, or to fix things or to move on. Um, I kind of think they want a rebirth here. But this is somebody it definitely ended with. And they're waiting for their ships to come in. They could be waiting for a perfect opportunity to, I don't know, try and slide back in with you. I don't know. Or they could be really trying to move on. But they are, they're kind of stuck because they're scared. They're scared to make a move either towards you or towards somebody else they're kind of just like in limbo here interesting unsettled times need to plan ahead yeah they they they're unsure of the future they don't know what to do they don't know where to go they don't know what direction to go in Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Well, they're going to have to do something because they're not doing anything. They're just in their feels. Releasing soul patterns, contracts, and 
past lives unbound they're trying to free themselves um It kind of feels like they have a karmic situation going on. Like this is karma being paid. Um, that's why they're having so much heartache. I don't. This is out of their control. They just feel tied up. They feel bound. They can't. They can't get over you, and they can't move past you. Stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to. Well, that could be going for you. Like, you don't have to take this person back just because they want you back. Um, or this could be them. Like, you know, a, you know, spirit telling them, look, make up your mind. What do you want? Grounded. <sighs> yeah, they need to be grounded. I don't think they are grounded. They're just too in their head, overthinking things, feeling tied down. They're not free at all. They are they are bound to you. They can't let you go. They have to make a move one way or the other. They have to either come towards you or to go towards somebody else. They, they need some kind of closure here, though. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is available to you. Follow it with faith. So they're struggling, but they really need to let you go, I think. I think you're over this person. I want to say this person kind of played games. I don't know why I'm feeling that. But I kind of feel like they've... Um, like this isn't a surprise because they, they were wishy-washy with you too. I don't know. That's what I'm feeling. And that, again, that doesn't have to be everybody's story. But that's kind of what they're making me feel. Like this person didn't really know what they wanted. And that may be why you walked away from them. Because, uh, you know, they weren't making a commitment either way or something. I don't know. Hmm. Loon, intuitive. Listen to the song of your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. Recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. So this person is different. They are unique. This is just confirming that this, they're, they created this though. I, they, they kind of feel unlovable. Sort of. To be honest with you, I'm getting like conflicting feelings here because I kind of feel like they have like a little bit of an ego, but yet I kind of feel like at the same time that ego is just protecting them because they feel unlovable. Hmm. Moving out of stagnation. All right. So your person could be moving out of stagnation. They could be trying to gather their courage to come and have a conversation with you. It's possible you could be hearing from them. If they finally get it together, you could you could be getting a, a you know, having a conversation. You guys are soulmates. This is the tree of souls, which is like the Akashic records. But when it, when that comes out, like in a, like a relationship type of reading, it, it means that, that you, there's like 
records of the two of you. Like you have, you know, you probably worked together in past lives or you're planning on working together in future lives. Like there's records, you know, there's records of it. So this is definitely a soulmate of yours. And if you broke their heart, I don't know why you want to know how they feel, but they're heartbroken. Maybe it's because you didn't know they were heartbroken. Maybe they didn't show you, but your person is stuck. They're just stuck. They're, they're like chained. They are all bound up, but it's all of their own making. They could break free of this. They just need to decide what they truly want and who they want to go for. So I, you could be hearing from this person soon, but not, maybe not, you know, some, if they choose to, to release you and let you go, then you won't. But I don't know. I don't know if this helped you at all or not. But let's pull some charms. All right. Well. Leave your angels there. Well, you got be mine. Be mine. They want you to be theirs. They want you to be their best friend. Maybe you were their best friend. They're learning something from this, which makes sense. The Akashic records are here, right? So it does make sense. But, not, but their angels are here doubly to really try to help them figure this out. They're just not listening. Are they well off the good life? I kind of feel like they could have a really good life. I mean, with or without you, but together you guys would be amazing. If this person is like on the same page with you, you got abundance. I think your person is, um, has money for some reason. I think they're financially stable. I'm getting, picking up that vibe and I'm not quite sure why, but so like, I feel like they kind of, I think they kind of feel a little whiny a little bit. I don't want to turn you off from this person, but I, it kind of feels like, you know, like I'm good looking. I have money. I have that. Why can't I have, why can't, why, why aren't I lovable? Why am I not lovable? Why do I keep messing things up? Or why is, you know, why don't people love me the way that I want them to love me? Why don't they stick around? I don't know. Cause I felt that a little bit of an ego, right? So that makes sense where they feel like they're they, you know, they should be worthy of great love because they're nice looking and they have money. Um, but yet they're still kind of heartbroken here. So I don't know. This is a, this is a little crazy to me, but that's what I have for you pile too. I hope it, it made some kind of sense for you. And if not, I apologize. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I got. So give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Till next time. Love and light. Hi, Pile 3. You chose the raw stone. Uh, then this is your reading. It's Chevron. Isn't that funny? Uh, pile 1 was Chevron. I don't know why I said that, but I don't know. I'm a little dizzy today, so I think it's throwing throwing me off. I think I'm starting to get vertigo or something today. Weird. Queen of Cups, Six of Cups, Nine of Swords, Judgment, and the High Priestess. Well... Your person looks at you like you are somebody who is very nice, very sweet, very lovable, very nurturing, very caring. Um, 
they they have memories with you they're remembering good things about you that now this doesn't mean that you have to have had a relationship with this person it just means that you could have known them for a while and they 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 have a memory that they um when they think of you it makes them smile nine of wands nine of swords is they're scared why why they have anxiety when it comes to you though i definitely don't think you're with this person i i think they're beaten they beat themselves up over something they did to you they're remembering something they think you're a good person and maybe they just kind of uh maybe didn't give you a chance or or they were mean to you in some way or i don't know but they regret it they regret it and they're trying to trust their intuition when it comes to you and i think that's like them trying to decide whether they want to um come forward and let you know but they have some it feels like they have regrets when where where you're concerned stepping into a new experience you probably moved on or maybe they moved on and they regret that they moved on a long journey either physical or mental will leave you wiser at the end this could come full circle you guys could get together i kind of feel like this person rejected you and they're feeling really super guilty about it they haven't forgotten you they still think about you but they kind of went in a different direction maybe but uh now they're like kind of seeing you as part of their soul tribe like they see you as a soulmate like oh what if they were the one what if pile three was my one and i let them go they're definitely thinking about you you're on their mind and you're causing them a little bit of stress because they think did i mess up was was that my soulmate affirmations to lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire use positive affirmations so i think that's they're trying to speak positive things into existence for themselves i don't know if they're succeeding but they're trying i think they're trying to manifest you um in uh, like maybe like you manifesting you reaching out to them or you uh bumping into you things like that if you're in the same friend circle then they're like oh i go out with my friends hopefully they'll you know he'll be there or she'll be there i don't know ease i think with that card i kind of feel like they think that you are someone who would be easy to be with like that you're so loving and so nurturing so kind that you would provide them a good life you know like you would you would be there for them you would take care of them you would and it would be easy to be with you but for some reason they didn't take you up on it or something but they want a new beginning they definitely want a new beginning fox clever you are swift and smart solutions to problems are easily found always listen to your instincts resources surround you be open to romance so they think you're smart they think you're clever they think you're smart um i think they want to be with you i really do i think they want to be with you and i think they think you're super attractive they think you're foxy <laughs> which is nice garden of venus rest and renewal yeah like you guys have had like 
there was like a break or a timeout. You guys haven't talked for a while. I mean, even if you guys were never in a relationship, like there's been like a, a quiet period between the two of you. And I don't know, for some reason, uh, like their thoughts of you are getting, you know, sparked back to life. And I, they, I think they really want to be with you. Liminal dance, delicacy, fragility, and transcendence. Yeah, they're dancing around you. They, I think they've been dancing around you for a while. Um, but they never made anything like set in stone. They never made a concrete advancement towards you. They just kind of been dancing around a little bit. Like, you know, you're aware of this person and they're aware, they're very aware of you, but they never came right out and said, you know, I really like pile three or I really want to be with pile three. They're just kind of dancing around. Hmm. What do you do with that? Let's see. Let's pull some charms. No, well, your angel's got your back on this one. So I think you guys could be together. If somebody just like steps into their power and makes a move here, uh, they would be protected. Look, they got protection charms all over. So this is like, you wouldn't break their heart. That's for sure. They need to just t shine. I, I think they really like you and I think that they really admire you and I think they look up to you. I think, um, you know, they hold you in high regards. Hmm. I don't know, pile three. I guess you have to wait and see what happens, right? All right. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Until next time. Love and light.